Hi, uh, how you doing? Well, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is another plant journal. I am dying to share with you how I take care of this tree and I found a tree to keep this plant alive. And if you missed my previous uh, plants journal, uh, please check out my playlist and I suggest to watch my spider plant video where I officially announce uh, this series and it will give you the full concept uh, behind this plants journal. So without further ado, please subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell to help my channel grow, get your tea ready and let's get into this video. Okay guys, meet my Pachira Aquatica, also well known as the money tree or a good luck plant. This is two years old and it's still growing and thriving. I got this uh, tree from the Baker website, which I believe is located in the Netherlands. And it took ages before I received uh, this plant, along with my coffee tree, which now uh, rests in peace. And Monstera adansoniae, which was labeled as Oblica, but thank goodness it's still alive. I don't know if you can see it, it's here. There. Anyway, this tree is supposed to be bonsai size, but as you can see, not anymore. It produces uh, more shoots or stems and it keeps growing. It's only a matter of time before this tree is going to give me flowers. That would be amazing. Um, there's a saying that once this tree blooms for you, it brings you good luck or money coming your way. Unfortunately, I'm not the type of person who believe in the superstitions. I just want this tree to flower, that's all. I really like their huge flowers. Apparently, it's the biggest or one of the biggest flowers in the world. I haven't seen one in real life, so I am really looking forward to seeing these three flowers because it would be great. Hope it will, fingers crossed. So when it comes to taking care of this plant, uh, this tree, really loving my north facing window seal it is receiving pretty decent light and i haven't had a single problem with this plant at all aside from trunk rot <laughs> yep <laughs> so i fertilized this in spring and it's booming with new shoots such a happy plant so the reason why i am dying to do this money trees journal is to share with you my tricks of how i water this plant it's so simple and easy number one is to bottom water this plant i always advise people i know who own this tree uh, to do this method to prevent the trunks getting rot and i lost two or three trunks since i got this uh tree and I didn't understand why because I don't overwater this plant and I water this when the soil is completely dry. However, as I was observing this tree, trying to figure out what I was doing wrong, I noticed the bark of the trunks were always damp, especially when I was watering this from the top. So I googled it, I thought it was normal as this tree grows in the swamps. So I just carried this watering method and at the same time I was slowly killing the plant. So one day my husband told me, why don't you bottom water it? He's been told that the secret of having healthy plants is bottom water them. Uh, which is great, it's just I don't have the patience to wait for my plants to soak thoroughly. And I also tend to forget that my plants are still sitting in the water for a long period of time. And yes, I did forget this tree was still sitting in the water all night uh, till I woke up in the morning. I freaked out because I knew I was about to lose another trunk. And yeah, the bottom trunks were so damp and the next thing you know, one trunk was slowly rotting, so typical. And it was my third one uh, that time, so I scrubbed the bottom watering, it wasn't for me. I easily get distracted. But for the people who is completely opposite to me, I highly recommend this method. Like I said, I always advise people who own this tree to bottom water this plant. It's a must. 
just make sure you don't overdo it okay i'm about to show you the simple trick how i water this plant uh, since i started doing this trick i managed to keep this tree alive all you have to do is water it this way just around the tree um, do not let the water touch the trunks at all i repeat do not let the water touch these trunks because when i was observing this plant i realized this bark doesn't like being damp and if you know notice the moisture tends to spread and the barks were starting to rot and as you all know bark has the important role of protecting and bringing nutrients to the plants without it your tree is dead so every time i water this tree i make sure the soil is completely dry and do not overwater this plant or else the trunks will soak up the water and the bark will rot like I said, doing this trick, not letting the water touch the trunks at all, this tree couldn't be happier. I am pretty chop. No more episodes. Hurrah! So that's it, guys. I hope this little trick will save your money tree. Um, let me know your thoughts and experience with this plant. Comment below. I'm happy to help if you have any questions regarding this plant. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye!